Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Jewel Suds and Soaps. What I wanted to do today, I have um, this mold here, and it has roses, so that will be the top of the soap. And the colors I'm using are, it's really pretty micas I've never used before. Um, one's a purple, and the other one's pink. And they're both, they're kind of bright. They're kind of like neon, more so the pink. And what I did was I took my tea tree oil um, here, fragrance oil, and I'm putting it in with the colorant, the mica. Hang on, I'm trying to get the lid off. Not want to come off. All right, well, I already added enough. I'm not going to worry about that. Okay, so the tea tree oil, like I said, is in here along with a little bit of rubbing alcohol. All right, so right here I have 16 ounces of olive oil, melt and pour base. And I have right here a little bit less than 8 ounces of goat's milk. And what I'm going to do is melt these down 30 seconds at a time. After 30 seconds, I'm going to take them out of the microwave, stir them manually all that I can, um, and just keep repeating that whole process until it's fully melted. Okay, I'll see you in about probably uh, six minutes. See you then. Okay, we're back. I'm going to mix the colors up. I hope you guys are having a good day. I'm putting about equal parts. Don't have much rubbing alcohol left, so I have to use it sparingly. Now this rubbing alcohol will all, uh, help it too to melt down. And I put my fragrance oil in, as I said before, within this glass with the colorant. It's weird, I can feel that tea tree oil. All right, so I'm gonna let that sit for a second. This is really a bright, bright pink. Smells nice. Okay, the colors are really good. I'm liking them. It didn't take much. I put maybe, oh, maybe a quarter of a teaspoon of each. Did not require much at all. All right, so I'm going to go in with the pour. I want to do it so that you can see the whole thing, and I can do it here. Okay, so I'm going to spray my mold really good. That's going to help to uh, help it pop out easier. Okay, so I'm going to go in with this white. And then I'm going to go in with this purple. Beautiful colors. It's gorgeous. Very happy with these micas. Beautiful colors. Back in with this white. I'm going to have to put it back in the microwave. Oops. Okay, I'm going to go back in with this purple. The higher you pour, the more penetration.
Oops, that was a big clump. Nice colors. Okay, so I'm going to put this white in just a little bit longer. Another big clump. All right, I want to try something here. All righty. I'm going to see you guys back, I would say, in a good two hours or so. See you then. Okay, we are back for the unmolding here. Yeah, I've never used this mold before. I think it might be a little difficult to get this out. We'll see. Okay. Whoops. Boy, that's really neon. Okay, wow. All right, I'm going to go and get some uh, green for the leaves, and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Well, let's see here. It's kind of hard to do this when it's pink already. For the other leaves. Here's one. <sighs> All right. Um, where else? It's hard to tell with this pink. <laughs> I 
All right. Let's see here. I'm going to cut it off camera and I'll be right back. I think next time I'll use more pastel colors for this, but we'll see. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, we are back. Very vibrant, that's for sure. What I don't like is there's not, it doesn't go down far enough. So it's just tiny. Let me show you a diff the difference. All right, here, let's look at this one. And then you see this here. There's not really an opportunity to make swirls because it's not, you know, it's not long enough. So basically, but well, we got some. It's just very short, a very short bar. Colors are pretty though. I like these micas. And overall the mold's pretty. It just like I said, I wish it was a little deeper. That's where that big clump went. Two more. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please press the like button, comment down below, become a subscriber. It is free to do so. Once you become a subscriber, hit that notification bell and you'll be notified uh, when I release any new videos. Thanks so much and have a great day.